In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to record a video that has audio in it on your Mac while using Streamlabs OBS, OBS, or the QuickTime player. But before we jump into it, if I can ask you guys for a huge favor, if you find this video useful or helpful in any way, hit that like button and subscribe. Without wasting any more time, let's jump into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click the link in the description or the pinned comment. Once you get to this page, you're going to want to scroll down so you see this, Download Installer. Go ahead and click it. So you have the option to donate to get this program, but you don't have to. You can get it for free. Just click I can't afford to donate. Then put your email address and just make up a first name and last name and then click send link to download. Now, after that, you're going to go to your email. You're going to see the email they sent you right here. You're going to want to go ahead and click on that. It's going to give you a link to click on, and that's going to bring you to the download page. Now, once you get here, click on black hole two channel. Once you click on it, you're going to want to open up your finder and you're going to go to your downloads and you'll see this little cardboard box here in your downloads. Okay. Click on that, and then it's going to bring up the installer. Now, once you get through the installer, you can go ahead and move this to your trash bin. We don't need it anymore. All right, the next thing you're going to want to do is click on the search bar in the top right of your computer, and then you're going to want to search up Audio MIDI Setup. You're going to want to open up this program. Now, once you open it up, you're going to want to click on the plus symbol, and you're going to want to create an aggregate device. Now, once you create an aggregate device, this is basically your input. So for this, you're going to want to select the Black Hole 2 channel that we downloaded, and then your microphone that you're using. So if you use a microphone for recording videos or anything, you're going to want to make sure you select it. Whatever microphone you use on a daily basis, make sure you select it here. I don't use one on my Mac, so I didn't have to do that. After you're done doing that, you're going to want to change the name of that to Input. Now make sure you make it Input. Don't try to get creative with it. Just name it Input, and I'll show you guys why. Now after we're done with that, we're going to click the plus symbol again, and we're going to create a multi-output device. Now go ahead right away and just name this Output. So once you name that Output, you're going to want to select all your output devices. So you're going to select the Black Hole Channel 2, and I use headphones, so I'm, ex I'm selecting my external headphones. If you use speakers, select speakers, or your headphones, if you see them in this list, select your headphones. Next, we're going to go back to the search bar, and we're going to search System Preferences. Open up System Preferences, and then click on Sound. Now in here, this is very important. You're going to want to make sure that under output, you have output selected and under input, you have input selected. That's why we name them like this, just so we don't get confused. Now that we got installing done, I'm going to show you guys how to set this up on OBS and Streamlabs OBS. It's the exact same. So I'm using Streamlabs OBS, but if you're using OBS, it's, it's the exact same. So first you're going to want to add a source. Okay. And the source that you're going to want to add is audio input capture. Now, once you add this, you're going to want to go into it and you're going to go to devices and select input because this is your input. This is going to be for your microphone and your desktop audio. Then we're going to create another source and we're going to use a display capture. Now, once you're done doing this, I suggest we choose a location for where your videos are going to be saved. So what you're going to want to do is go to the settings bar here in the bottom left. You're going to want to click on output. You're going to want to go down to recording. And then right here under recording, you'll see where it says browse. Click that. Click desktop. And then click open in the bottom right. This is going to make it so when we're done recording videos on OBS or Streamlabs, it saves to our desktop. So once you're done doing that, you can click done and you're ready to start recording or live streaming from Streamlabs OBS or OBS. So finally, we have the QuickTime player. So go back to our search bar, type in QuickTime player. Now, once it opens up, you're going to click File in the top left of your screen. You're going to click New Screen Recording. Now, once you click that, this thing is going to pop up on the bottom of your screen or somewhere on your screen, and you're going to want to click Options. Now, in Options, it's going to say Microphone here, and you're going to want to select Input. After you select input, I suggest you go up here where it says save to and click desktop again. So when we're done recording, it saves the video to your desktop. Now that you got that done, you're ready to click record. And then whenever you want to stop your recording at the top of your screen, you'll see a little stop button here. You can click it and it'll stop the recording and save it to your desktop. 
But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap this video up. I hope it was helpful. If it was, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.